Right then, so this is the second vid, and we're looking at inclined planes. So it says a diagram Y shows a particle in equilibrium. So remember, if, I'm, if it's in equilibrium, my acceleration is zero. So if I use F equals MA, it's equal to zero. So a diagram shows a particle in equilibrium on an inclined plane under the forces shown. Find the magnitude of the force P and the magnitude of the angle alpha. Right, okay. Let's have a think about this then. So parallels and perpendiculars. So my five newtons, oops, has got, that's 30 degrees, isn't it? So that's 30. So that will be five cos 30, going that way, and five sine 30, going down. Uh, my P, so if you imagine there's the, the slope, there's my P going that way, and that's an angle alpha. So that one is next to it, so that'll be P cos alpha. That'll be P sine alpha acting up there. So you follow the direction from the start to the end. Right, so let's have a look at and let's do parallel to the slope. So I'm going to do F equals MA. So the forces that are running down the slope minus the forces which are going up the slope parallel to it are equal to zero because it's an equilibrium. So what's pushing it down the slope? There's a God, this is this sneaky eight newtons. That's pulling it down the slope and it's running parallel to the slope. So that one's going down the slope. The component, the five sine 30, is also going down the slope. Is there anything else going down the slope? So the eight is, the five sine 30 is. Right, so let's see what's going up the slope. So going up the slope is this part here, this component here, which is the P cos alpha. And that's equal to zero there. So I can work out then, if I do a little bit of rearranging, my P cos alpha is 5 sine 30 plus 8. So now let's look, oh God, let's look perpendicular to the plane. So what I'm saying is, my force is going that way perpendicular to it, minus my force is going that way perpendicular to it, are also equal to zero because it's in equilibrium. So what have I got going up? So I've got the two newtons going up. I've got the P sine alpha going up. What have I got going down perpendicular to it? Is a five cos 30, and that's equal to zero. So if I rearrange from a P sine 30, P sine alpha, sorry, it's five cos 30 minus two. Now random, oh yeah, you have to find that. If I, if I say that tan is sine over cos, so tan alpha is sine alpha over cos alpha, so I can divide through, oh, I'll stop doing that, I'm bored. What's going to be a, hang on. There, so if I do this equation, the P sine alpha divided by the P cos alpha, that's the P's will cancel when I've got what tan alpha is. So that would be a 5 cos 30 minus 2 over 5 sine 30 plus 8. Now if I work it out, alpha comes out as roughly 12.5 degrees according to the completed pack. And then I can sub that back into either equation. It's not doing that board. So if I sub it back into the... So the P sine, so P sine alpha is 5 sine 30 plus 8. I've actually got P sine 12.5 is 5 sine 30 plus 8. If I divide through by the sine 12.5, it gives me P out as 10.8 newtons. And the video is going to end there. See you later.